Hey everyone, it's Tira with Rent Mason Bees. I came out today to check on my bee block and I uh, wanted to see what stage my bees were in so that I could teach all of you more about our bee stages of development. And I was really fascinated to find a couple of really, really cool things. I actually had to call our researcher Abigail from UC Davis and go, what the heck are these? So let me flip the switch over. I could only see these with my macro lens on my camera and I couldn't see them with my eyes. And so let me flip this around and show you what I just found. All right, so here is the nesting block that I very carefully opened for education purpose only. Please don't open your own nesting blocks because you need to send these kits and blocks back to us intact so that the little developing larvae can be safe and snug in there. But I found some really, really fun things. So I'll zoom in in a little bit, but I just wanted to show you a wide shot of the um, nesting block. You can see that there's a bee right there in the larvae stage, just starting to spin its silk cocoon. Wait until you see that up close, that's pretty cool. And then next to that is another uh, cocoon being developed, but it's a light color because it's just in the early stages of developing their cocoon. And then over here, you can see a whole cell of pollen mites inside. Uh, you can see the pollen loaf there and all those yellow things are the pollen mites. And then you can see a couple of other cocoons and developing bee that are about ready to spin their silk cocoons. But let me switch this over to macro and show you what this little bee looks like under the microphone who is just starting to build its silk cocoon. Oh, and wait until you see what these little pollen mites want look like under the, under the macro lens um, and be warned, they're creepy crawly. Okay, hold on, let me switch over. Okay, let's start with our sweet little mason bee who is sitting in there spinning a silk cocoon. You can actually see it moving. Let me push this and see if I can go even closer in on it. Oh, look at that. Look how amazing that is. It looks like cotton candy, but that is actually its silk cocoon that it is building uh, inside its nesting chamber. You can see the mud right there and that little black stuff is just it's um it's my it's uh, mason bee feces and then next to it is another cocoon that is still getting layers of silk uh it'll spin a few more layers of silk and then as you know when you get your cocoons it's a darker color so there's let's go back to this little bee before i terrorize you with the <laughs> with the pollen mites all right you ready get ready it's pretty gross here we go let's go up to the pollen mite cell all right, everyone, I wanted to show you what I discovered today and I needed to um, talk to Abigail from UC Davis. And I also reached out to Jacqueline from UC Riverside. Uh, we worked with UC Riverside last season when we sent them pollen mites and chalk brood for them to study and do research on. We did a whole video about what they discovered last year and I'll post the link below because it was it's posted about a year ago. Um, but it's pretty fascinating to see what they um, what they discovered in that research. But I asked, um, asked them today, like, what are those white? I thought pollen mites were yellow. And uh, Jacqueline said to me that those are baby pollen mites. Those are the larva pollen mites that haven't eaten the pollen yet and aren't, haven't turned yellow. So there are three stages of pollen mites that I learned. And she sent me slides to show me all three under a microscope. So there's the larva stage, which is what you're looking at right now, which they are just born and they are just crawling everywhere. And they're mainly centralized around that pollen loaf because they're sitting there eating the pollen loaf. As you can see, there's two mud caps there and the pollen loaf in the middle, but uh, no evidence of a mason bee. That mason bee has been, um, has been killed by these pollen mites. And um, so the three stages are, are the larva stage uh, and then the immature mite stage, uh, which they start turning yellow and then the adult phase. Now all this yellow are adult uh, pollen mites, uh, Jacqueline said, and dead pollen mites. So some have already perished. Um, so that's what we see when we open up the cells. Um, if you rent from our program, we get to take care of all these little critters. We remove all the pollen mites uh, from your nesting chambers and from your cocoons when we harvest and clean everything. Um, and if you're cleaning your own, you have to make sure you're harvesting and cleaning 
your mason bees every fall and you have to put out new nesting material in the spring. It's really important to provide clean nesting material every year. Bees, if you're raising solitary bees, there is maintenance and care to take care of them. Um, as you can see, pollen mites will multiply rapidly and what happens when you don't clean your nesting blocks, uh, they will crawl through these pollen mites and then the pollen mites will cling to the mason bee back. All right, you ready for something super cool? Jacqueline sent this to me, and with her permission, she allow, is allowing us, allowing us to share it with all of you. This is a microscopic picture of an adult pollen mite. Do you see the rectangle with the four dots at the very top of the picture? That is the suction and how it sticks and it clings to the mason bee. It locks itself on to the mason bee's back. And that is how pollen mites spread. So that little bee will carry the pollen mites out of this nesting chamber, and then it will spread it all around the flowers and it will um, get on, on honeybees and other pollinators. Um, so again, it's really important to harvest and clean all of your mason bee blocks and then put out clean nesting material every spring. New nesting material has to be put out, otherwise um, you could still have rem remnants of um, chalk brood or pollen mites in there. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to share this with all of you today. I found this fascinating. I didn't know pollen mites were white, but it turns out that those are the larva pollen mites that we're looking at. And um, yeah, I'm gonna send some links below on um, Jacqueline's UC Riverside study last year. So if you're curious and fascinated by this stuff, please take a look at that video. I know we work with a lot of STEM schools and um, a lot of different programs that love to um, learn what we're studying. And so I thought I'd share this today. Uh, feel free to share this with your classrooms as well. Um, but anyways, I just found this fascinating and um, always love to teach whenever I learn something new, I wanna pass it on to you guys. So these are baby pollen mites. All right, everyone, it's kind of weird for me to say happy pollinating when we're looking at all these pollen, mite, pollen, pollen mites, but happy pollinating. Have a wonderful summer. Take care. Bye-bye.